Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It's me, Dr. Vijay Kumar. I'm making lecture videos for the benefit of mechanical engineering students. If this is your first time and not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell icon so that to get notified all my forthcoming brand new videos. This video is in continuation with our earlier videos. In fact, for our simplicity, we have classified the flywheel problems under two categories. The first category of flywheel problems can be classified under three types. In type 1, the turning moment diagram is given in the form of areas above and below mean torque line directly. In category 2, the description of turning moment diagrams are given. The third category, the turning moment curve is given in the form of mathematical equations. Having solved type 1 and type 2 numerical problems in our earlier videos, in this video, we are going to solve type 3 problem. Are you ready? Yes, let's get started. Before proceeding to the problem, let us do a quick recap of all the prerequisite concepts that are required to solve this problem. We know that when our turning moment diagram is given by using which we have to find mean resisting torque value and thereby the maximum fluctuation of energy delta E. This is the formula to find T mean. Delta E, you know that maximum energy minus minimum energy. So in some cases, area above the T mean line is given that will represent you delta E. This is the relation gives equation to find the energy stored in a flywheel. In some scenarios, we need to find the dimensions of the flywheel ring, which can be determined by using these expressions. Yes, this is what we have solved in our yearly lecture, which we call it as a type 1 problem. We have solved a type 2 problem, where the description of the turning moment diagram is given by using which how to find the delta E. That's what we have learned in the previous lecture. Right, shall we see the numerical problem of type 3? Yes. Now, let us go through the problem statement. The torque delivered by a two-stroke engine is represented by an equation T is equal to 1000 plus 300 sin 2 theta minus 500 cos 2 theta Newton meter. So, the turning moment diagram is given in the form of equation where theta is the angle turned by the crank from inner dead center, the engine speed is 250 RPM. So they have given N value. The mass of the flywheel is 400 kg, M is given, and the radius of gyration, K value, is given as 400 mm. Okay? Determine the power required. The total fluctuation of speed, what do you mean by that? They are asking us to determine coefficient of fluctuation of speed value. And the angular acceleration of flywheel when the crank has rotated through an angle of 60 degree from IDC. So you know what will be angular acceleration alpha of the flywheel when theta is equal to 60 degree. This is what we need to determine. Is that clear? Yes. The given data are the torque equation is given, speed of the flywheel is given, mass 400 kg, k value 0.4 meter. So these are data we need to find power, coefficient of fluctuation of speed, and angular acceleration. Shall we go to the solution? Yes. As always, since n is given, so we can very well find omega. So omega is equal to 2 pi n by 60 by using which we can find the value of omega, right? When our turning moment diagram is given, first we are going to find T mean value and then we are going to find delta E value. So procedure remains same, okay? Yes. For our better understanding, let us draw a conceptual sketch of the given turning moment diagram.
first let us find cycle crank angle dear students let me bring in here some basic uh, mathematic concepts for our better understanding how to determine period if you are given with sin or cosine functions let y is equal to a sin k theta is the sin function where a is the amplitude of it k is known as periodicity factor when this is the form how can i find angle for a single cycle which can be determined by formula 2 pi by k okay this is the concept you are going to use right so this is the torque equation given to us shall we find a cycle crank angle but in this case it is a combination of sin and cosine functions can you tell me what would be the period of sin 2 theta period is equal to 2 pi by k 2 pi by 2 so for this period is pi for cos 2 theta what is the period period is pi as per the concept of mathematics whenever we have a combination of sin and cosine functions the period of the equation will be equal to the lowest common multiples of both the periods in this case both are pi and pi therefore the lowest common multiple of both function is pi so pi is the cycle crank angle clear yes or in other words we could say since the given turning moment diagram is a function of 2 theta the cycle of operation will be completed for every 180 degree or pi radians of the crank rotation now i try to draw a conceptual turning moment diagram this is my torque input torque equation am i right excellent now shall i draw the mean resisting torque line what is that it is a constant value so let me draw a horizontal line here so this is my t mean line do we know t mean line right now we do not know let us find it now we know that we know that t mean is equal to work done per cycle divided by cycle crank angle am i right yes so how can i find work done per cycle we need to determine area under the curve i mean to say this area right if i know the torque equation how can i find area under the curve by using integration am i right so what is the lower limit and upper limit 0 degree to pi radians yes by integrating this equation and applying the lower and the upper bound limits we must be getting the value so i'm using upper limit now minus what is the lower limit so from this by substitution i am getting answer as 1000 pi newton meter yes right we have determined the work done per cycle now very well we can find the t mean value work done per cycle divided by what is the cycle crank angle pi radians therefore t mean value is equal to 1000 newton meter in our problem they have asked us to determine power developed by the engine what is the formula we know that power developed by the engine is equal to 2 pi nt by 60 am i right or in other words t mean value multiplied by omega will give us the answer 
What is T mean value? Just now we have found. So we got power developed as 26.18 kilowatt. We got the first answer. So in order to determine the coefficient of fluctuation of speed, we must be knowing the value of maximum fluctuation of energy, which is nothing but delta E. We know that delta E will be equal to area above the mean resisting torque line. I mean, So there you are. The shaded area above the T mean line, if we know, that will be equal to the maximum fluctuation of energy. That's what we have discussed in our theory. Is it? Yes. So let me give the naming here. Delta E is equal to, how can I find the area above T mean line? integration of course what is the interval from point b to point z what is that angle i don't know right now i am writing them from angle theta b to theta c what's the equation if i put a t equation i will get the whole area under the cow so i have to subtract this area what is that t mean so t minus t mean multiplied by d theta will give us this shaded area. Do you understand this logic? It's so important. Now, before proceeding further, I need to determine the values of theta b and theta c. How can I find theta b, theta c? At theta b and c, what is common? The t value is equal to t mean value. That is the idea. So that means at these two points, B and C, T value is equal to T mean value. This is the logic I'm going to apply, okay? Equating them, I can find turn inverse, I'll get two theta degree. So I got one angle, but I need one more angle. So what can I do? I need to apply some trigonometry. We know that tan 180 degree plus theta is equal to tan theta. That means I will have another angle, which is nothing but 59 plus 180 degree, which is nothing but 239 degree. From this, I can write theta equal to 59 by 2, 29.5 degree and 239 by 2, 119.5 degree. We got two theta angles. I think now we can proceed here. Yeah. Delta E is equal to On simplification, we get delta E value as 583.08 Newton meter. Okay, we have to find coefficient of fluctuation of speed. We know that delta E is equal to mk square omega square cs. In this, we just we have found delta E m value is given, k value is given, omega already we found, we need to find the cs value, isn't it? I will substitute all the known values, I should be getting the answer. By calculating, I am getting cs value as 0 0.01329. 
uh, CS is equal to 1.3 percentage is the answer. So now uh, we need to determine what will be the angular acceleration of flywheel when theta equal to 60 degree. As you could see from the diagram, at 29.5 degree, the flywheel starts storing its energy. It keeps accumulating the excess energy up to point C. That means flywheel will start accelerating from point B onwards. So that means when theta equal to 60 degree, it will be accelerating. So they need to know what will be the angular acceleration of the flywheel. We know that flywheel will accelerate only when torque produced will be greater than T mean value. That means T minus T mean value, what is the formula for uh, torque T is equal to I alpha. So from this, I can write I into alpha, okay? I equal to MK square into alpha. From this equation, we can find alpha value. Therefore, this is the alpha equation. I need alpha value when theta equal to 60 degree. So I can substitute theta 60 degree. Substituting them, I am getting value as 7.965 radians per second square. That's it. This is the end of the problem. As always, I have given a similar problem for your practice, which you can try at home and check your answer. In our next video, we are going to talk about type 4 problem, which is nothing but problems involving punching press and riveting machines. Okay, hope you have understood this problem clearly. If so, like this video, share it to your friends and subscribe the channel. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Take care. Bye.